Emily, welcome to another video. On our channel we make um, homeschooling videos with my four-year-old daughter Rosie and today's video is all about our general week. Um, seagulls, including uh, the more formal side of our learning but it only takes up about half an hour of our day and the rest is completely child-led and play and out and about in nature and stuff. So I hope you enjoy it and get some ideas. So my mum gave us a an Everyday with Jesus, but not particularly re religious, but Rosie's enjoying learning a bit about the Bible, the Christian faith, and she loves colouring in the little pictures. Anymore. So what about giving it, what about cheering up the crying man with a nice blue t-shirt or something? I'll cheer up in bed. Yeah. I'll so this give one's, a green t-shirt. One of the things I like about um, these things is it teaches her empathy and it teaches her to think about others and things like that so that's the main reason we're doing these so we're thinking about how we can cheer each of these people up and then the people down the bottom are, are helping and this one's all about um be with people who have problems so don't be a fair-weathered friend so this morning we're doing in our maths book more or less wizardry so what's one less than 22 so you can use the number line over here 20. if you want to. One less. No, one less. One less, baby bear. 23. Go over here. No, no, no. One less than 22. So 22. Look over here. 21. One more is 23. 21. 21. 20. So just put a line through that. That'd be the one. That's it. That's it. That's fine. 21. 21. One less than 17. So you can use your number line over here if you need to. 16. Well done. I don't want to do any more now. We've got to finish the page or you can't colour in that 61 baby there. Three round. What's 61? That's 61. Colour in that what 61? No. I'll help you fix it. Me and Rosie, I printed out some twinkles yesterday. And we've got a timeline of events from the birth of Christ forwards. We are going to go further back. Um, but I'm just, I want Rosie to just get used to how the dates work moving forward. Like BC is larger than AD. So Rosie's going to help me put these in order. So this is sort of a maths project as well, because Rosie has to identify the biggest number for BC. I'm going to help her, and then we're going to go through, and we're going to um, make a plan so that we can cover each of these, each of these topics briefly to go through history over a, over a period of time. Because Rosie does enjoy learning about history, so this is not forced learning. She she loves learning about the Egyptian. Iron Age. Rosie loves learning about the Egyptians. She loves learning about lots of different things. And because she, she's into Narnia at the moment, the children get sent away because of the Second World War. So she's curious about what that is as well. So we're going to put these in order for now, and then we're going to we're going to make a plan about learning about the what different things. So what story are we doing today? Do you know what the story's called? The Good Samaritan. The Good Samaritan. The Good Samaritan. So it shouldn't matter what someone looks like, should it? It shouldn't matter what someone's background is. If we can see someone needs help, what should we do? Well, we should help them. Mm -hmm. We're good. It's a marathon. Uh -huh. so, so, Rosie's decided they're all would some. You, would, you like some? Um, would you like to do some? I can help you colour if you like. Yes. Kingsley, Kingsley Shacklebolt Babs. So Rosie's practicing her letters via a Harry Potter alphabet thing. So for every letter, Who's we limp? thought we thought of someone from Harry Potter. Who's limp? Lupin. Lupin. Professor Lupin, the one who turns into a werewolf. And then what letters next? Mm -hmm. What's happened? Malfoy. Malfoy. Well done. She, she's also reading them, so she's doing an excellent job. Neville. That wasn't quite enough, though, was it? But yeah, Neville. And then who have we got down here? What? I find she doesn't mind practicing her letters and writing Olivander. so much if it's something that interests her. Olivander. So we've done Narnia, haven't we? This is Harry Potter. That's a big word for you to read. Olivander. What's this one? And we've got to go on the back for the other ones because I couldn't fit them all on one. I couldn't quite fit them all on. Who's, who's that? Percy. Percy. What are the numbers? 15,000 BC. Mm hmm. 
15,000 to 2,500 probably by the birth. Otherwise you're going bigger and we don't want to go bigger. So in 13,000 BC, pe people started to grow cave paintings. So we're going to put these in. Grow, make pink. Like we're gonna we're gonna put these in order as part of our Stone Age bit, and then we're gonna go a bit more in depth. In it. Well, I don't think we're gonna eat bark off a tree. Like little dollies, little dollies. They might have used stone tools to scrape enough bark off to build something out of. Yeah, we're gonna build something out of bark. Right, well, there's plenty more um, trees down the park, but remember we got there too late yesterday, mm. and there was people by the river every time. So should we get down there? Rosie is drawing some cave paintings inside this cave. I may have to make the door slightly wider for her. Yeah. What are you saying? You can't fit in. So what are you drawing in there? This looks like a pencil. Like a oh, we can't show. Oh, there we go. Oh, the little stick man. Why do that? It's a circle. and what look like arms and legs. So part of our project where the Rosie's getting a little chance at seeing now about um, cave, cave painting with, with pens. It's raining and she is keen to um, watch something this afternoon. So instead oh, of getting the paints out, which will take longer and then longer to pack away, we're doing drawing with the pens in there. You can also decorate the outside of the box as well if you want, baby. As well as inside the cave. We hope you enjoyed our yeah. vaguely our homeschooling week. There's the occasional day where either my my husband has her a bit more and um, forgets to record, or we have a little break, or it's just the same as the day before. So, uh, yeah, we're gonna leave it here for today with Rosie inside her cave, drawing her pictures. Would you like to see a cave painting? Should we show them? I don't know if they'll be able to see. I'll show you a lot. I don't know if I can show them, Babs. You might have to be my left moving. Your head's in the way. Go ahead. There you go. Um, did you see that little monster I've drawn? So, yeah, we're going to leave the video there for today, so I hope it inspires anyone. We've got some papier-mâché craft coming up for our stage thing as well, if I can get hold of the newspapers, because no one seems to read newspapers anymore, and I don't really want to go out and buy them. Um, so, yes, if not, we're just going to have to craft our huts out of little cardboard boxes we've got. So, we'll get into that in our next video. For now, it's to tough for me, and to tough for the Rosie Bear. Bye-bye.